So I've been practicing my Asaro head like a diligent student trying to figure out exactly how these things work and my best advice is to actually just overdraw on something so there are a whole bunch of these kind of overdraws with the idea of once I know where these structures are I can use that as a reference to actually do the drawing of. So the main aim here isn't to necessarily go for any level of realism or anything like that but to instead just try and figure out what the proportions are and where things are sitting in relation to one another. It takes a long time for this kind of stuff to get into your head. My hand and my mind kept on making me want to draw these things with curves. A plus side about the Syro heads is that it doesn't matter whether your model is male or female, the same kind of logic applies. It will still help you to get a structure for the face that feels a bit more three-dimensional. There's absolutely no point in rushing any of this. You might as well settle in and just try and do as many as you possibly can. That's the only way that you're going to get better and internalize exactly what these structures actually are. Then as a final exercise, I figured I might as well see whether this would improve or not any of my drawings. So for the last little head that I did, I planned it out first and then I went over it in my usual style. Again, without any attempt to create a fully referenced photorealistic illustration of the photograph that I was looking at, just more to see whether the method would apply with my normal style. I always do a construction drawing under my actual drawings, so this doesn't actually even add an extra step anyway. It just gives me a better method of doing this. And you know what, I have to say it's not bad. Quite honestly, I pulled off this in about half the time that I would normally draw ahead, even if I was using reference.